MPs plan IABC overhaul in campaign for poll reforms. Uh, the National Assembly is considering part-time service by electoral commissioners and reducing their number to five in a debate on reorganizing the cripple agency. So first of all, there's that proposal to reduce the number of commissioners from seven to five. I remember during Isaka San's commission, they were nine. Now we're at seven. Now we're looking towards going to five. Uh, those in office now are three. But there's also the bigger problem that we now face. Of course, uh, the chief executive officer, Ezra Chiloba, has uh, been shown the door. And uh, IBC chair, Wafule Chabukati, has written to ESCC and the DPP to take action against um, Chiloba. Uh, first, the question, how do we resolve the confidence uh, challenge that we have, even as the commissioners propose and to, uh, to implement uh, that the auditing or rather the vetting of uh, all senior officials at uh, the Senate. Maybe Senator Isaac, you may uh, go first. Yeah, I think um, when you decide to put your life at the destiny of Kenyans, you need to be very serious about what you are undertaking. And that is something that I don't feel many of the people who show up to be commissioners of the IBC seem to fully fathom. Because the contestations about power play in this country has, me, has been domiciled within the ambit of the IBC, because they then become the independent arbiters of our own you know, ambitions and aspirations as a people and regions within mm -hmm. this country. Mm -hmm. Now, we have traveled this journey before. In fact, I think the position of the CEO of the IBC seems to be jinxed. Mm -hmm. We just need to look at uh, the case of um, Oswago. Oswago. And now this young man who I have met way back in 2012, um, Ezra Chinova, I think who really tried to do his best. Mm -hmm. But in the quest to ensure that uh, uh, somebody takes the capability of the loss of the 9 billion shillings and, the, of course, the, exp the expensive elections that we have just had uh, last year, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chebukati and his uh, commissioners are on, in an overdrive to really put uh, to account senior management officials. But the buck stops with them. Mm -hmm. It is them who really superintended over the elections, even if they came to office only seven months. Um, and I think we need to ask ourselves very serious and fundamental questions. I want to imagine that uh, JLAC, uh, uh, the National Assembly, uh, looking at this matter because we need serious electoral reforms, we need to ask ourselves whether we, by the time we reach the IABC, mm -hmm. uh, whether we really uh, have had credible processes that uh, produce systems that only, you know, seek Kenyans to validate whoever they would want to elect in office. Mm -hmm. Because it starts much, much earlier. Right. It starts with the way in which we do very shambolic way of uh, changing laws that suit uh, political convenience at time, not for posterity. Mm -hmm. uh, and also even how we do our party primaries and uh, how they, they, they spill over with regard to the pol political party's dispute tribunal. Mm -hmm. So they, in short, what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot that we need to do within our electoral system if it is to achieve the desired results. Currently, it becomes unfathomable. Uh, uh, to imagine that then the confidence of the IBC can only be restored if you vet the, 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 the senior management. Mm -hmm. Kenyans would want to imagine that a new commission is better, but we have seen even if we replace the commissioners, uh, that will not happen. I know for sure one of the things that makes these commissioners to continue holding office mm -hmm. is because we anticipate a referendum. And that if we were to uh, start recru the recruitment of uh, commissioners, that process would be frustrated. Because if you look at uh, Chapter 16 of the Constitution, you require a minimum of seven seamless months if at all you are to attain a, 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 a plebiscite. Um, but then here when you start saying that you need uh, who is going to be the next commissioner, people start scheming for the, the, the year 2022. Right. And uh, then you have issues of tribe and region. So we are really in a, at a situation where real leadership is required. Mm -hmm. Because <coughs> if you are not able to resolve this matter of the IBC, it will spill over. Uh, to the kind of confidence people may or may lack uh, the with regard to the next election election election. Of course, you can argue, uh, Sam, that uh, they have successfully conducted by-elections, mm -hmm. uh, and the latest one being uh, the one for, for, for Migori. Migori, and I want to congratulate uh, uh, Ochilo George Mbogo Ayako for winning. Uh, but then the issue would be whether really uh, the, the center can hold. Mm -hmm. I want to give the benefit of the, of, of the doubt as I conclude, mm -hmm. that uh, I would want to imagine that Chebukati and his commissioners are more experienced that now they have some spine because they have shown to be very spineless. That now they have reflected so and that they will put the country at So in your view, they should remain? Well, of course, th there's something that comes with experience. Gladys will agree with me that when you are a second-term legislator, you are much better than a first-term legislator. Mm -hmm. Just like any other position, there's no school that you, you are taught a subject called experience. But then the prevailing circumstances are so murky 
And I wonder how we are going to wiggle ourselves out of the situation. Right. So what is the solution out of this? Uh, is it to review the law and reduce the number of uh, commissioners that we have? Is it to review how they are appointed or is it to stick with the three and just look for replacement of the four? Yeah, for me, I think uh, it's untenable for Chebukati and his team to remain in office, mm -hmm. given the revelations that we have uh, had. Um, uh, and, and in fact, them pushing this to Chiloba. But we saw the circus <coughs> that was Chebukati and his team during the election. We saw the circus that they were. They were total circus. And we cannot uh, forget. You know, we, we cannot forget what, what, what happened in, the, in, in 2017. And, and a lot of it was caused by Chebukati and his, his team. And the buck stops with Chebukati. He can't sit there and say, oh, the other commissioners who have gone are the bad ones. I am a good one. No. Chebukati, the three commissioners that they have that have remained, we must find a way of sending them home and bringing in new commissioners, and that should not go beyond now. The reason is, the closer we get to election, the more contentious the issue becomes. And then, if we if we get commissioners on board too close to the election, mm -hmm. they are unable to prepare. Mm -hmm. So we cannot wait. And the 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 process of getting commissioners to the IBC. And, 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 and this is what I was, I was saying uh, during the, the break, that it cannot be a, a candidate or a player selecting the referee. It cannot be. Mm -hmm. Whether, you know what we had, the problem began where the, 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 the selection panel for IBC presents three names to the, to the president. And the president at that time happened to be a candidate. Mm -hmm. And the candidate is now the one to select one among the three, and it is not even determined whether it is the best person who is to be picked. They could pick anybody. Chebukati was last, if not second last, in, in, in the selection uh, process last time. So uh, personally, my view is Chebukati, the three commissioners, uh, must. We must find a way of sending them home, together with the others who had already resigned, so that we have a set of new commissioners and we must have a process, a selection process, like it's done in other jurisdictions mm -hmm. that has representation from political parties. And what do you do with the secretariat? The secret you know, we must decide. What happened between Chiloba and Chebukati is a lesson. Because there was a chief executive officer who was the, you know, who was the accounting officer, and then there is a chairman who also wants to wield power and who holds bears the political responsibility within the commission. Now we must decide whether we have a CEO or we have an executive chairman who is the person. The center, we must have one center of power. In a critical organization such as the IBC, there must be one center of power where the responsibility rests. It cannot be that there is an officer at the back who manages everything, yet at the same time the person who takes political responsibility for any failures is a different person, but that person does not have power to contain a rogue CEO as was Chiloba. Senator Cherry Gay, how do you ensure that the next um, political cycle, I want to call it political because it can be a referendum or an election cycle, mm -hmm. how do you ensure that uh, it doesn't face the confidence challenges that we face today by looking at IBC? Uh, I'm happy that uh, Mwanga they have not abandoned their quest for electoral justice because they were on the streets. And I'm happy that uh, some of those issues will be resolved now that we are having handshake. <laughs> I agree the confidence is very low in terms of uh, how, how the IEBC is operating. Mm -hmm. And as the chair of JLAC, I, I would not, uh, as a committee, there are things that we are doing at the moment concerning the IEBC including the audit, including also electoral. Uh, we are trying to get an omnibus of electoral Is it a Senate reforms. function? Uh, reforms. No, <laughs> <laughs> no as JLAG, you know, you know, it's interesting because el elections concern oh, elections counties. Concern, elections concern by the subject. That's a very mischievous question. Yeah, that's a question. Elections. Do not uh, uh, function. concern counties. Let's hear from... Do they do not concern counties as per the schedule how, four? How are counties elected? As per schedule four, we the policy around elections is not, IBC, not a county function. Even IBC, even IBC itself, as even nowadays, have in line with devolved units, uh -huh. they have now county returning officers. Because they realize everything that, you know, everything in the this county. Country is not a county counties. returning officer, he's <laughs> called a county coordinator. He's a county elections coordinator. W that is the person who is at the county level. Okay, without power to return any results. 
they only announce what the constituency returning officers uh -huh. have. You know, it must be put on record. I'm not arguing for the sake of argument. Uh -huh. It's just that I must correct uh, uh, Senator Cherage, who's uh -huh. the ch chairman of JLAC, that the county coordinator at the county level, the IBC officer, does not, pro is, does not have power to return any results of his own. Mm -hmm. He only mm -hmm. announces res results returned from, from the, the constituencies. Uh, yes, so now, I now think that beside, must be clear. Beside that, there are so many uh, proposals, because even the legislative proposal must be passed by both uh, houses, be it the, the National Assembly and the Senate, especially. Some of these proposals was uh, one is to have, uh, not to amend, the, the electoral rules within one year. Mm -hmm. Also, within yeah. one year, not to have uh, the IBC commissioners in place. You remember Chiloba went seven months into the, ele into the elections. The, pro uh, the problem we are having in this country, and I, I, and I agree with the thought of uh, Mashimawanga. You, you mean Chabukati, not Chiloba? Uh, Chabukati, sorry, sorry, the chair yes. uh, of the IBC. I agree that, uh, you know, in corporate world, you have the, the, the board, led by the chair, mm -hmm. and then you have the CEO led by executive. The governance structure mm -hmm. and the power struggle that is in IBC, mm -hmm. and I agree we need to look, because you're having a CEO who is leading the secretary, the chief executive, mm -hmm. and you're having the chair who feels that he should be in charge of everything. That is why we need to look at the, how the IBC operates. Mm -hmm. um, in my own opinion, one, we need to reconstitute the IBC, Two, we need to reconstitute the secretariat right. and see how we can rearrange. Because the, the power struggle, because now the Chabukati is saying uh, IBC should investigate the CEO Chiloba on the corruption allegations. Mm -hmm. And there are so many uh, commissioners that they were with him. There are so many allegations that have been raised. There were so many issues that NASA raised because mm -hmm. of the issues. Although I want to, the, 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 at least the IBC has put on record that NASA lost in 2017 general elections. <laughs> and that one, uh, that, I think that is what has made uh, yes, NASA we and many, and want many to open a debate. No, no, I'm not <laughs> opening a debate, but I'm saying finally, uh, what I want to say about the IBC. I, I agree. <laughs> he's not. Uh, I agree. He's, I agree. He's, he's, <laughs> I agree. Let, let me finish. I agree that the IBC, as it is constituted, I think for electoral justice, uh, as uh, our brothers, uh, we, we were handshake with, have agreed that we need to reconstitute uh -huh. both and look how the structures yes. between the secretariat and the commissioners. And I agree. In some instances, we need to have them as uh, coming in at part time, part timer, so that uh, we can only have the chair uh -huh. and the, the rest of the four commissioners come at part timing okay. and what have you. So I think that so, there's, so there's an issue. Moving forward, I think when uh, the Chebukati team was being appointed. It was uh, the product of a joint select committee of the senators yes. and uh, members of uh, the yes. National Assembly. And I see that uh, William Cheptumo's uh, committee at the National Assembly is already starting the conversation, mm -hmm. and you have already started yours. So how do we move forward so that uh, eventually we have a way out? Is it through the respective House committees or is it through a joint I, select I, committee? I, I think from the select committee that uh, came up with with the current commissioners, I think we'll use a bipartisan approach, and it is good now that uh, Parliament, we, because of uh, you know this, <laughs> some sometimes this handshake is a blessing in disguise. So the, some it's of this issue, it, 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 it's, it's a blessing. It, Please explain it, that. You know, of, of course, I've been one of the opponents of handshake. <laughs> now it is very important now that we have the JLAC in the National that? Assembly and the Senate. It will be easy, but Are my proposal is to have a. Bipartisan. He's an opponent <laughs> is, of the handshake. Is, is, is the bipartisan, because we, if we go to details, you know the devil is in the details. It will bring another debate, and I can see but you're going because of time. <laughs> no, I agree. With, of course, it is a poison chalice. What okay. I'm saying is that it is important now the House, the House now can have a bipartisan approach. And I agree, you know, I, this, uh, Peter Kaluma, the Oma Bay Town MP, mm -hmm. has given even an interesting proposal that we need a, a mirror-like IPPG, mm -hmm. the, the, the one we had in 1997. Right. I, I agree. Of course, Gladys Wanga has raised a concern that how can you give a player to appoint a referee? Mm -hmm. But those are some of the, we need all stakeholders. We are not saying only political parties mm -hmm. should be involved in the process of, 
uh, IBC formation of commissioners and running of IBC. We need all stakeholders because somebody was asking, even if the proposal by Kaluma, what happens to people who do not belong to the political parties? What happens to other stakeholders? Right. That is the conversation we should be having mm -hmm. in as much as so that we, we cure some of these issues and ensure the IBC has the confidence. Mm -hmm. We are going now to election, uh, maybe another circle of electoral process, be it referendum, mm -hmm. be it the 2022 general elections, be it the by-elections that might come up the way. We need a more IBC, which is as the confidence of the public. Say that if I lose and you win, it is in a fair contest and we respect the results are being credible. Yeah, I think uh, there are things that uh, Senator Chiarie has said that cannot go unchallenged. Mm -hmm. one, one is that uh, IBC has uh, stated that NASA lost uh, the, the election. Uh, I, I think if we want to go down that route, first of all, this IBC is so not credible that I do not think Kenyans will believe anything that they say. But this country is in a process of healing. But that, but it, this country is in a process of that healing. That is as far as the presidential election goes. It's concerned, no, yeah. Not as far as the, the woman representative uh, Homabe election yeah, goes. Yes. You know, the they most... They are credible. The most... Uh, <laughs> the most... You know, Sam, you're laughing, but the reality of the matter is the most contended election is the presidency. Mm -hmm. They might yes. not want to interfere with my mm. election as mm. woman rep, but they will interfere with election. But I, what I wanted to tell Senator Chirarge is this country is in a process of healing. If we as leaders continue to throw ads, you know, like those, mm -hmm. then we greatly hamper but that process. Including, including, including let me just speak, no, because finished. when you spoke, uh, okay. when you okay. spoke, I, I listened listen. to you I will the listen. whole time, I will listen. you mm -hmm. know. Um, and, 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 and so when we, are, when we are healing and moving forward, let's not do things that prick wounds mm -hmm. that, you know, have not fully healed yet. Because when we are on, a, on this kind of platform, we speak to many Kenyans. They are NASA supporters, they are Jubilee supporters, mm -hmm. and right. we as the leadership are entrusted to bring the country forward. And, and, and as far as the handshake is concerned, we know that uh, Senator Cheragay and his entire wing you know, of, of, of Jubilee are opposed to the uh, handshake because they believe it is a 2022 issue. Mm -hmm. Yet it is clear that the handshake is not a 2022 issue, is a bigger issue to move Kenya forward. So I think, and, and, and on the issue of the referendum, one thing I must say, and, and I know I, I, I want to say this because, and there I want to thank Senator Gerard Gay on the gender and inclusivity matter. Right. We, I support the referendum, but as a woman leader, mm -hmm. what I must say is the referendum must have women on the table. That is one. Mm -hmm. Even yes. as our political parties elect, whatever it is, we must have women on the table. Yes. Nothing for women without women. Correct. Secondly, we secondly, we will not accept a reversal of any gains mm -hmm. made mm -hmm. so far on affirmative action matters. Mm -hmm. If if this is about if this is about Punguza Mzigo reducing the gains that women and other affirmative action groups have mm -hmm. made, mm -hmm. then it is a no no. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, this contestation is because of the 2022 elections. And uh, you can see there is a lot of friction between Gerard Gay and Gladys. There. Mm -hmm. And that's how you come <coughs> in. Uh, uh, that's how you come in to resolve. <coughs> but I think even before we go there, we need a referendum law. Yes. Because there are so many lacunas within the Constitution mm -hmm. that would not even make us to reach the referendum, mm -hmm. by the way, as at now. It mm -hmm. is almost inconceivable. Mm -hmm. And if you remember the Okoa Kenya initiative that flopped last time, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, it, it is a question that we need to resolve seriously. Kenya is not suffering from uh, anything other than mistrust amongst ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we have <coughs> proven time and again that elections have, ha are not resolving anything. Mm -hmm. They are not. Because every other time, if you look since 20, uh, there's always some form of handshake. Look at 07, the, the national accord. Right. Look at 2013, whatever Jimmy Wanjigi was saying, and the, the photos we saw at State House mm -hmm. uh, with Reverend Jesse Jackson. Mm -hmm. Look at 2017, at Harambe uh, Harambe steps there. Mm -hmm. So it means that then elections in and by themselves are not a solution. Mm -hmm. And if you even go further, backwards to party primaries because in party primaries are the most undemocratic forms of elections where some mm -hmm. uh, skeleton uh, v uh, pu uh, special purpose vehicles called parties uh, pretend oh. that they can conduct uh, uh, polls 
that they do are not have they have no capacity where they recruit agents uh, as officials on the day of elections so so we have a problem of trust mm -hmm. and uh, i think the democracy project in africa to a large extent has failed if you look at even the region now the role of the opposition is in question. Look at Uganda, look at Kenya, look at Tanzania. Mm -hmm. You know, look at even uh, Zimbabwe where um, Nangagwa is saying he's going to appoint Chamisa into government. There is, a, there is a problem. And power has shifted. Look at even China itself, our new colonizer, where uh, G Xi Jinping <laughs> is a president for life. Truly our colonizer. Our new colonizer, yeah. So we, we are in a problem and we have to ask ourselves All the right. question, where, where, where is the will of the people? Where will people get justice? And people who are led by ideology, like now the late Mr. Odhiambo William there, who was a re real communist. These mm -hmm. people are uncelebrated. There is a, f a problem where p a politicians come together mm -hmm. and people's issues take the back burner. We must have that conversation no matter how difficult it is. And I think it is a call to action for all of us who are here right. that we need to be the voice, even within the ambit of the handshake, which is very good because it has helped the country to move forward. And for me, I'm pro the handshake. Mm -hmm. But then we must also critic what is happening with regard to the programs of government mm -hmm. and whether really Wanjiko and Ouma are getting uh, the right uh, you know, kind of uh, services that they, they, they deserve. Mm. We're out of time, but before we take feedback, uh, Senator Chair, again, 30 seconds, what's your... <coughs> no, there are some things that uh, Mushmua wow. Wanga <laughs> said that cannot go and change. It was not She was leader. responding oh, to you as No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not, in fact, I'm not the IBC. Uh -huh. the, the IBC had to respond to the, uh, con, uh, the, the issues that the NASA leader, uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, said that he won, and the IBC are the ones, and it is on record, it is in the public domain. Mm -hmm. Number two, I agree that we need to audit. Mm -hmm. uh, with Senator Moura said from the level of party primaries, financing of the campaigns, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the electoral uh, laws, to the electoral processes, to the selection processes, to formation of <coughs> all these issues that we need. And I agree that the resemblance of some stability and tranquility mm -hmm. that now it allows us as parliament and even as Kenyans to have a bipartisan approach. I know there are issues of a bipartisan, uh, the issues of building bridges mm -hmm. and some of those issues was concern about the electoral reforms and what have you. But as a country and as a leader, I want to call upon Kenyans that it is very important now that let us work in ensuring that okay. uh, to, 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 to bring reforms and ensure I'm happy that the fight against corruption is taking shape and is taking root. I hope I've seen the judiciary is trending on Twitter it's or fake judiciary. Like it so, so, so uh, no, the, the issue of corruption <laughs> is that now DPP and DCI are doing a good job, okay. but I can see Twitter uh, on Twitter judiciary is trending. I don't know the reasons why, but I hope they'll assist in the fight against all right, corruption. All right. so we now